welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a scarecrow wreath for fall. Um, the I lost a lot of my footage, so you're going to have to excuse some of it. And then the editing, earlier when I was editing, it just kept messing up on me. So, uh, anywho, I have all Hobby Lobby mesh, and I have some 6-inch plaid orange looking one. The green one that I used in the gnome wreath and those were just the inches. Uh, 12 of 20 inches of the burlap mesh and then 10 inches of the green plaid mesh and then 10 inches of the um, orange mesh. So here you'll see that I am just finding the middle of my mesh and I'm going to pinch it and walk my fingers up all the way until the end. I'm not doing the woodland ruffle. I'm just doing a regular a regular ruffle bundle how whatever you want to call it. So I do that and then clip it and then I'm going to do the same thing with the green mesh that you see there. Okay, so where's my clip? Okay, here's my clip. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that and then do the same thing with my green mesh find the center and then walk your finger pinch it and walk your fingers all the way up okay and that mesh right there is really really good mesh i really liked that mesh it's really durable so if you see it grab it you won't be disappointed i promise okay and now that that's done we're going to unclip the burlap looking mesh put one on top of the other doesn't matter which way you do it it's your your choice but then we're going to get it on our work wreath form that i made and i showed you how to do that in the gnome wreath video and this is only using 12 pipe cleaners instead of the 18. you get to save a little bit more on material and it looks just as gorgeous Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and center that and pull really tight and twist a couple of times. Okay, one and two. And there you have your first bundle. Okay, we're going to set that aside. And now we're going to do the same thing. and But this time we're going to add an orange, the orange piece of mesh. And I'm, I don't know why I did it this way, but I would just go ahead and add orange to every bundle. Because that's what I ended up doing in the end anyway. I was going somewhere with it, and then I turned back around and went a totally different direction with it. But, you know, it was, it was fine. So just go ahead and make your bundle again using the green plaid mesh and the tan burlapy looking mesh okay and i'm gonna clip this together with a bigger clip because that small clip just wasn't gonna do it he's just a baby okay i'm gonna get my big clip clip those together and then grab my orange piece of mesh and i'm gonna do the exact same thing So like I said, I would go ahead and just add orange to all the bundles instead of going every other. And just make um, 12 bundles total and then uh, attach them to your pipe cleaners. Okay, put that together. And when you're holding them, it's... It's a lot, <laughs> but it is doable. Okay, so I have my wreath form and the same thing. Just get it right smack in the middle there and pull really tight and twist really tight a couple of times. 
because that is a lot of mesh. And then just go ahead and make your bundles and fill up the rest of your uh, pipe cleaners. Okay, and that's what it looks like. I think somewhere here I find a hole, and then I just go ahead and patch it with... Oh, yeah, see, right there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take an extra piece of the burlap mesh that I had and um, make just one bundle with it and tie it, uh, attach it with a new pipe cleaner. But that's the only hole that I found. Okay, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and cut it in half. And then I'm going to wrap the pipe cleaner around my bundle. And just stick that right in the middle there. And twist a couple of times and then attach it to the wreath form. And like I said, like uh, the video footage, I don't know where it went. I'm still not good at this whole editing thing, but I'll get it one day. But on some parts of this video, you'll see like um, pumpkins appear on there and stuff like that. Those are just dollar going to be Dollar Tree pumpkins. And um, they come, I think, like four in a pack. And those are just hot glued onto the thing. So... When you see it, you'll see it. This raffia skirt has gone a long way. Oh my gosh, this has lasted me for so long. This is just one skirt. So if you're looking for raffia, I'd just get one of those. I mean, it's really easy to work with. It's a little on the thicker side, but if you don't mind that, it's a really good deal. It lasts forever, basically. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab maybe like 10 pieces. I'm not even counting. I'm just getting as much as I think would look good and I'm going to attach them to um, the wreath form. And I'm not going in any specific way. I'm just here and there, wherever I think that it looked good, that's where I attached it. And the same thing, just stick it right in the middle of the pipe cleaner and twist a good couple times. I just want to take this time to say thank you to all of my subscribers for, uh, first of all, subscribing to my channel and sticking around. I know... I'm not good at uh, editing my videos. Sometimes I go out of frame, but, you know, this is something that I like to do and I enjoy sharing what I do. Um, so just thank you so much for sticking around. It really does mean the world to me that I have you guys as subscribers and, you know, this is something that I have always wanted to. I've been wanting to do it for a few years now, and I finally got the courage to get my YouTube channel up and going. You know, I'm nowhere where I need to be, but um, I think by February I need to have a 1,000 subscribers. But, you know, even if that goal does not happen, I am still going to keep on going. I'm still going to keep bringing you content, and it's just something that I that I love to do and I love to share with you. Okay, so here I have my scarecrows, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the sticks down. I cut one of them off already. Okay, I'm just going to cut them down. I'm going to show you. These little guys came from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99, but I didn't pay the $2.99 because they were 40% off when I grabbed them. So I'm going to cut the sticks down just a little bit, and then I'm going to cut off the tags. Okay, and here I'm going to show you the tag. 
I'll just go ahead and find the... It was really snug on there. I really had to fight with it a little bit before I clipped it off. But there, there you go. And um, I placed them on my wreath. And you could totally skip the part where I try to tie them down with a stick in the back. That didn't work. Um, so I just ended up using my hot glue. And it's Gorilla Glue. It works really well. I have not had anything come off of my wreaths using that. Even with the excruciating heat that we've been having. Okay. I really had to dig in there. This this wreath is big. It's pretty. It's beautiful. It is a lot, though. It is a very, very busy wreath. But the outcome is just oh, out of this world amazing. Okay. You'll see here. Yeah, just totally skip this part. I don't even know why I tried. It was it just didn't work. But, you know, I'm not perfect and I'm going to leave some of my mistakes <laughs> in so that way you can see, you know, I could tell you what what not to do if it's not going to work, if that makes any sense at all. Okay. Okay, and here is where the footage got cut off of me cutting my ribbon. So this is one inch uh, ribbon. One roll, the the blue one came from Hobby Lobby uh, just recently. And that tan and cream colored ribbon that came from Walmart, um, I think a year or two ago. It was in the Easter section. But anywho, I just cut strips of 10 inches and I went ahead and dovetailed them and stuck them here and there all over my wreath um wherever you see you want ribbon is what I always say wherever you see fit that's where you add your ribbon I don't really go in any any certain way but okay so I have some floral here and these are Walmart floral and I got them this year just recently I forgot my glue gun at home <laughs> I was at my sister's house so I I grabbed my glue skillet for some reason instead of my glue gun so I had to use what I had I didn't want to go buy another glue gun because I have like three of them but um just the same thing with your floral wherever I thought flowers should go that's where I glued them it ended up coming out really good really cute really amazing and yeah just i say just whatever pleases your eyes go ahead and do that that's what i did here and boom just like that pumpkins magically appear <laughs> so yeah i lost that footage too but they're just the pumpkins from the dollar tree like i mentioned and you just get some hot glue glue them on there here is where I'm showing you where I took the scarecrows back off, hot glued their little bottoms and their little hats, and I stuck them on there tight. And I'm showing you here that I just used a craft stick. I didn't know what else to use, so I just used one of my tiny craft sticks to slather on glue on, on the scarecrows. But hey, whatever works, and you're in a pinch, and you have something that you're not going to use, I say use it. And it, it worked really well. It held up really well. Okay, I also, these also came from uh, Walmart. Oh, I'm on the phone. There you guys see my whole face. Sorry, sorry, I never get in the camera. But I put some of those on there, too. They came from Walmart, those glittery leaves. But look at it. Isn't it darling? That is, oh, I was so shocked when I made that. Look at how cute that came out. But anyway, here it is. Thank you guys so much for sticking around my madness. I really do appreciate you. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Share my channel if you will. We'll see you next week. God bless you. Take care and bye-bye.